So we're right here, we're at the uh, edge of the bay by downtown San Francisco. And so that's the financial district behind me. So pretty much a huge map. All these big giant buildings you see right here, they're driven um, really, really strong pilings way down um, to stabilize them. One, for earthquake issues, but also two, it's not, there, there isn't rock near the surface. So this San Francisco Bay right here, um, the bay used to extend, so about 95% of the wetlands vessels that come here, the anchor. And, uh, and everybody goes crazy. They get what they, people call it gold fever. And uh, everybody just abandons the boats. So everybody's leaving. The captains were leaving, the first mates were leaving, and they couldn't actually crew the vessels. So we have this huge sea of abandoned wooden ships and at the time on the mud flat or, or at the time in sort of shallow water and then very rapidly as we start doing all this hydro mining up in the Sierras and in the Sacramento River and all those areas all this sediment comes down dumps into San Francisco Bay so it fills in a huge amount of this so now the boats are one abandoned two they're sedimenting in all around them people can't even you can't use them as boats anymore so then a lot of the folks started using them as the first buildings down here so they started building plank walkways out to the boats. So they were brothels, they were bars, they were um, they were uh, sort of flop houses. You could you could stay in them. And then as that process continued over the coming years and decades, it sedimented even more. And so a lot of those boats were brought. They were the wood was scavenged for buildings elsewhere. But now now people look at this and they think that's the land. They think that that's it's always been that way and it hasn't. So now when I really do a new construction, doing all kinds of new construction these days, um, there's all kinds of, uh, not, not, not huge delays, but there's pauses where the folks have to stop and do archaeological excavations because they're going to put the footers down into the mud. They all the time find these old chests, these old nails, these old uh, structures from these old abandoned vessels. So this whole thing, 18, call it uh, 1850, 1852, 53, full of abandoned tall-masted schooners here at the edge of San Francisco, the city of San Francisco. And then you got the Bay Bridge along here.